Okay, here in this session we are going to see the nickel arsenide structure. Already we have seen the basic structure of uh, the different types, how they are packed and how they are, they can be placed, like uh, cubic close packing and hexagonal close packing. But now I am going to tell you about uh, the nickel arsenide exclusive structure which is there in the syllabus. And uh, have a look at this structure there on the left side. Can you see that in the first picture? So it uh, appears like a hexagonal close packing structure because there is a hexagon and uh, the blue circles represent the arsenic and the yellow represent the nickel. So it is considered as a binary compound with. Uh, with the stoichiometry of the type. Stoichiometry, I think uh, I have told you. Uh, balancing of particular compounds. Okay. So here, this is a, is a binary compound. Means, you know, you have got only two atoms there. So look at this. These are the, these are the only two atoms they have present there. Atom number one and atom number two. So this constitutes a hexagonal close packing structure. I am just going to encircle it to show you how the highlighted structure appear. So here it is the hexagon. Right? So this hexagon, you know, it is uh, considered it comes under hexagonal close packing. And uh, likewise, you can see that the nickels are forming a type of structure which I can consider as a kind of triangle there. Look at this kind of triangle. So I am going to draw a triangle here outside and keep in mind about how you, how you are viewing it. This is a side view and uh, <coughs> from the top view you can view like this. If you see it from side light it appears like a line. So you can view from the top here. If, you are, if your eyes are placed here you can view from the top here. And go through this line. If you go through this line you can see that it is cutting some three atoms of arsenide there three atoms of arsenide. So you don't have any other arsenic lines inside there. So just you have to change the line there. If you change the line, you know, you are going to see two arsenic atoms. So we consider this as a different layers there. So it's a binary compound with a stoichiometry of the type AB. The next part, the, the next point that I'm going to tell you is uh, about the arsenic atoms. The arsenic atoms are arranged in a hexagonal packed structure. Hexagonal packed structure. So you can see them. The arsenic atoms, they are arranged in a hexagonal packed structure. And uh, the next point is this. Uh, so here is it's point number two. You can remember them as uh, the points then it will be easier for you to understand. The next point is about the nickel atoms. The nickel atoms are arranged. The nickel atoms occupy all octahedral sites. Nickel atoms occupy all octahedral sites. Okay. The two types of atoms and arsenic are not not in equivalent sites means you know they are not as I told you draw the line first and I showed you that they are not in the equivalent sites there okay so here have you look at this again up to the point number three you can see that here in the second diagram also, uh, they are not entirely nickel sites. Means you know this is, this is considered as arsenic and this is considered as nickel. You can see that nickel forms a triangle there. While nickel forms a triangle of this type, the lower layer of the nickel, the next layer of the nickel, it is just opposite of this, like this. Okay. So if I if I if I draw the structure like this. If we draw the top structure like this, and uh, 
the bottom structure like this and then I'm going to view it from the top okay if I view it from the top because they are not in the equal insides I can just have a superposed structure of that okay the first triangle going like this and the second triangle just like this okay so in this case you're going to see about uh, six sides there one two three four five and six all the six are the nickel atoms there because just you are incorporating them here and then you are just following up there so if you join these <coughs> you are going to see a kind of a <coughs> what what type of structure they are going to see uh, it's a kind of a octahedral structure why because <coughs> here you you see i'll just underline it with the with the dark color there one face two face this is a third face and that one which is in the opposite side there opposite side there is the fourth face so four faces on that top okay and four faces below faces below okay this four plus four is giving you eight so that is why we are calling it as a, an octahedron so this is an octahedral alignment within the hexagonal close pack this is hexagonally close packed structure hexagonal close pack structure and within that uh, you are having a arrangement of the nickel atoms this is a very essential and important point that you write like this what that is the arrangement of the nickel atoms is such that here you have nickel atoms there it's such that it occupies an octahedral <coughs> geometry okay you just join them like this you'll get a structure like this so you can i think you now you get an idea of uh, what an octahedral is so it's just you're going to draw an octahedral like this so you are supposed to draw the octahedral arrangement in the examination okay the equivalent atoms occupy all octahedral sides that is what is being said there like uh, what i told you about uh, the the nickel atoms there octahedral sides there are two types of atoms nickel and zinc are not in equivalent sides then the fourth point that i am going to mention is uh, the arsenic layers i will look at that the arsenic this is the fourth point the arsenic layers are arranged in uh, the sequence of the type the sequence of the type A, B, A, B, A, B, dot, 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 dot. So, in other words, in other words, the second. arsenic layer have just have an important understanding of that arsenic layer is not exactly is not exactly about the first arsenic layer so that is how you get this structure i think you can imagine this also here I will look at this uh, arsenic structure there, arsenic layers are there. This is the first layer, and this is the first layer, and this is the second layer. So below this first layer, you know, you are not having the arsenic here, so it, it has moved to a to a distance like this. Okay, that is what is mentioned in the point number four there. Okay. And uh, the next point is Point number five is uh, the an arsenic atom is surrounded by six nickel atoms. Very important point there. Six nickel atoms. The six uh, surrounding 
the six surrounding nickel atoms are present in the corners of a trigonal prism. Trigonal prisms. The six nickel atoms together with arsenic together with arsenic atom do not constitute do not constitute an octahedron okay so where is it for point number 5 they do not constitute an octahedron means you know, it occupies the corners of a of a regular trigonal diprism. Suppose if I draw it like this, okay, and then rather than drawing it like this, I am just again drawing it like this. Okay, then I am just joining the points there. So what do I get? I get a uh, trigonal, trigonal by prism. That is that is about the fifth point there. What it says? Arsenic atom is surrounded by six nickel atoms. So I can write arsenic atom here, and then nickel here, nickel here, nickel here, here nickel here. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that is the fifth point. Six nickel atoms there, and only one arsenic atoms. So arsenic atoms is surrounded by six nickel atoms in HCP pattern. HCP pattern. That is trigonal by prism. But uh, that was not the case for this one. Where is it? This one. You see in this. Here, nickel is at the center. Nickel is at the center. And then you will have arsenic here, arsenic here, arsenic here, arsenic here, arsenic here, and arsenic here. So you got uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So nickel is surrounded by surrounded by six arsenic atoms. Six arsenic atoms. What is the pattern? In octahedral pattern. In octahedral pattern. So if you, you can just, just look at this. <coughs> this particular diagram, just I'm going to show you. In a, in a separate window there, but here this diagram is you know, a structure of any is a sub lattice, you know, the lattice below that has some structure uh, which is quite similar for the beryllium, magnesium, titanium, zirconium, and hafnium, cobalt, and uh, zinc, along with cadmium. Primitive unit cell is given there, and uh, position of the unit of space group is given here. So you see that we don't have to remember this. This is a point group symmetry given for the crystals there. You can see that this particular cube, you know, it, uh, if you just have a look at this, okay, it appears this particular cube there. <coughs> but if you can consider next arsenic atom, it goes on to occupy a hexagon there. Right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Hexagonal close packing in which you have got uh, a particular atom, this particular atom is opposite of this particular atom. Okay, these are the two triangles there. This is one triangle and this is another triangle. Right? So these two triangles you know are quite opposite. This is in the opposite and this is in the opposite. So if I draw these two triangles in opposite directions, I get a structure like this. Okay, this one pertaining to this, and this one pertaining to this. This is layer one. This is layer two. 
okay in between you can have a particular space this particular triangle one in blue and triangle two in red you can have a space that space is accommodating what structure nickel structure so you have to remember nickel is octahedral arsenic is hexagonal close packing hexagonal close packing so that hexagonal close packing is given by itself okay so <coughs> i think we have come to the uh, understanding of the structure there but uh, just uh, just a minute and i am going to share how this can be viewed uh, in a in a particular this pattern what is that um, a jml pattern in which you can see this but i am not going to import uh, that video capture is i am not going to get it i think i just uh, show you another window there so i think can you see this i think okay i'll just uh, put uh, some link of that particular atom the jml which rotates like this so i can share just a minute okay i'm not getting that time i'll just uh, share it uh, so we will stop it you can go through the structure again and find out the points in the notes section thank you for joining